Hello, my name is Terry Milligan. I'm president of the University of Cincinnati Emeriti Association, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to this YouTube presentation. For most of us, while we were just beginning our careers during our early years, somewhere along the way we found ourselves to be proud owners of the starter home. Then, as we became more established in our professions and as we moved into our productive years, we progressed through several residences until we reached the McMansion. Now that most of us have reached our golden years, we are ready for retirement homes or retirement residences. That's where this information becomes relevant. Two options for senior housing or a retirement home that may be of interest to our emeriti will be featured. Maple Knoll Village and Kendall at Home. In addition, a few words will be said about university-led retirement communities. The UC Emeriti Association has enjoyed a relationship with Maple Knoll Village and with Kendall at Home for a number of years, and we are looking forward to expanding it as we move forward since we know the housing questions and options are very important to the members of our Emeriti Association. Just a word of thanks at the start to our presenters, of course, who will be introduced shortly, and to Megan Ulrich and her team at Maple Knoll Village for hosting the making of this video. Thank you, Megan. And now, let me turn this over to Bob Kanine, who is the chair of our Emeriti Health and Wellness Committee and he is the organizer of this presentation. Bob will introduce our presenter and say a few words about senior housing options. Following that, we will turn to our presentations. Bob, please go ahead. Thank you, Terry. Before I say a few words, let me introduce our main players. Megan Ulrich, Vice President of Marketing and Business Development, Maple Knoll Village. Wendy Fetters, Regional Sales Manager, Kendall at Home, and Ryan Anderson, Outreach Manager, Kendall at Home. As Terry said, our purpose is to introduce you to housing options that we think will be of interest to many of you. We're featuring Maple Knoll Village and Kendall at Home, but first, to provide some context and background to our presentations, I'll give a very brief overview of six different options for seniors. Let me start with aging in place. You know, nearly 90% of seniors and retirees say they would prefer to stay at home as they retire and age, with or without any necessary renovations to be made, living independently for as long as possible and feasible. Another way to age in place is to stay in your home and participate with an at-home program, such as Kendall at Home, to be featured shortly. Included is coordinated care to provide support at all life stages and levels of need. Senior living communities are another way. These often include a campus environment along with many amenities and activities. Comprehensive levels of care are possible from independent living through assisted living to uh, skilled nursing. Maple Knoll Village will be discussed in just a moment. Another option are traditional apartments that are tailored especially for seniors. Support services, common areas and activities, and graduated care are all available in that option as well. Age-restricted retirement communities are another possibility. These are legally approved, usually 55 years of age and up, that typically emphasize what they call active lifestyles, but they usually do not address increasing care needs. And finally, university-linked retirement communities are similar to senior living communities, but they are located adjacent to, or in some cases right on, a university or college campus, thus allowing interactions with students and with the university at large, providing intergenerational opportunities. Many of these communities exist at universities and colleges around the country today. Pat Mazinskis and John Hancock, both UC Emeriti, 
along with several other UC colleagues, have been exploring this option for UC for several years. Perhaps it will become a reality someday. Okay, with that review as background, now it's time for the main show. So let's begin with Wendy Fetters and Ryan Anderson from Kendo at Home, followed by Megan Ulrich from Make Bono Old Village. Take it away, Wendy and Ryan. Thank you, Bob, for that introduction. My name is Ryan Anderson, Outreach Manager for Kendo at Home. And as Bob said, with aging in place, one of the complexities that comes with, with retiring it is trying to develop a plan and not only develop a plan to help you age in place and age successfully wherever you want to be, but helping you execute that plan. Kendo at Home is an innovative approach to aging in place that allows you to stay independent, flexible, and free allowing you to continue to live that lifestyle that you want to live in the place that you want to live and continue to make an impact in the way that you choose to make an impact whether that's the way that you are right now whether that's a second act or an entirely new way altogether so Kendo at Home is all about trying to create a support system to help you age in place successfully uh, Kendo at Home is an active community uh, Kendo at Home membership is a way to help you choose where you want to live and help you live exactly there. Help you live life your way in the way that you want to choose. Help you have peace of mind knowing that if anything were to happen down the road, you're protected and you have a support system in place. Help you have a life pl care plan that evolves with you as your needs evolve as you age. And help you maintain control of your own life. And as we talk about living good lives and aging well. Oftentimes people bring up the term lifespan, the number of years that we live and, and using that as the hallmark approach to judging how well that we lived, how long that we lived. But as we've evolved and, and as time has gone on and we we're living longer, the new term health span has become the more modern approach to aging well. And when we talk about health span, it's how many years of active life we have, free from disease, illness, etc. And Kendo at Home is all about taking that proactive approach to try to increase that health span as much as possible, keeping you active and independent and free so that you can continue to do the things that you love to do and keep living life as you want to live. So we all know that we need a support system in place as we age, so why do we often wait until something happens to actually make that decision? Why do we wait until something happens where we have an accident, where we have to take a reactive approach to aging to try to help bring us back up? instead of taking a proactive approach to preventing that from happening altogether. And so that's what Kendo at Home is all about. It's stepping into the future with that plan. Someone to walk beside you, helping you through life and aging. Not someone to necessarily help pick you back up when you're on the ground after you've tripped and fall, but someone to be there with you that you can reach out to when you start to feel that fall coming, who can help keep you up and keep you walking on your own two feet. Hi, my name is Wendy Fetters. I am the Southwest Regional Sales Manager for Kendall at Home. The Kendall Corporation is a well-known, respected provider of senior communities and has been for over 50 years. We have, we have 13 different communities in nine states, and actually we just broke ground in California. We're a nonprofit organization, mission based on Quaker values. And several of our communities have connections to colleges and universities, such as Kendall at Hanover, Kendall at Oberlin and Kendall at Ithaca. These unique relationships truly demonstrate our commitment to lifelong learning. While Kendall at Home does not operate out of a traditional brick and mortar community, we believe that lifelong learning is key to a vibrant and healthy lifestyle. For that reason, we offer a variety of programming events that engage and inform our members. As lovely as today's senior living communities are, not everyone is ready to move in, and some, for some people it's not the right fit. AARP survey a few years ago um, resulted in 77% actually choose to live at home, but unfortunately half of those don't know that they can accomplish that. There's many reasons that people struggle to remain at home. The first one is the health span is critical to remaining independent. Living with a chronic or debilitating disease would be a struggle to be on your own. Another reason is people think that they will be able to arrange for the services should they need them. 
But what they're not thinking about is when they do need them, typically they're not in a position to arrange those services. In Cincinnati alone, there's 130 different home care companies. Which ones are you going to call that you're going to trust your health with and to let, you into, let them into your home? And then third, it's expensive. Um, the cost of support and services that you would need in your home to successfully age at home comes out of your pocket. Most people think that it'll come from Medicare or some other insurance. It's not, it's not the case. It is expensive and it does come out of your pocket. Kendall at Home has developed a unique program that allows our members to thrive into their retirement years with peace and peace of mind and that their long-term needs will be met. Our program is designed for healthy, active, independent mining members to come into the program and stay in the program to prolong their health and prolong their independence. Kendall at Home is often referred to as a retirement community that comes to you. Our continuing care at home approach is not new. In fact, Kendall at Home is a pioneer in this, in this life plan at home. We've been in the business for almost 20 years and we have successfully helped over 500 members remain safely and independent in their home. Our three pillar approach helps us build a custom plan that addresses those challenges involved. Number one, a proactive wellness plan to help you achieve and maintain your lifestyle goals. The second is a one call 24 seven care coordination team to respond to your needs, whether it's the flu or it's a, it's a hospital discharge. They'll be there to support you and advocate for you. And the third pillar of our program is our program actually pays for that cost of long-term care in order to help you protect your hard-earned assets. Because of our customized approach to wellness, care coordination, and that financial coverage, 98% of our members successfully age at home, wherever they call home. And when I say wherever they call home, this is really the key part. It's really what makes our program unique in that our program is portable. Care and coverage go with you wherever you go. So if you are wanting to stay in your home that you raised your family in, in the same neighborhood, or perhaps you've downsized to a urban loft close to campus. Maybe you're one of those lucky people that get to go to Florida for a couple months in the winter time. Or perhaps you're moving into a villa at Maple Mill Village. Wherever you call home, our program goes with you. So the next step is, well, who exactly joins Kendall at home? What do our members look like? What are they trying to achieve? Well, first and foremost, our members are planners. They're people who never want to leave their home. They're people who want to uh, not have to go directly into a reactive system, who want to try to age in place for as long as possible uh, because they love their community so much. Second, these people tend to understand the financial implications uh, of, of aging, and they want to make sure that they have a financial protection in place to be able to potentially pass on a financial legacy to their, to their next of kin, to their estates as they age. Third, people don't want to become a burden to their loved ones. They want to have family time be actually family time and not, I'm going to take off vacation to take care of mom and dad time. Next, they know that cost of care is rising and they want to be prepared for that unpredictable cost of care. So they want to pay for tomorrow's care, today's dollars. And lastly, it's people who are involved in their community. It's people who are involved in their neighborhood or campus and want to maintain that active involvement right where they are now and don't want to have to up and leave and change their lifestyle for them. Now this is not an exhaustive list, but these are some of the many reasons why people join Kendo at Home. If this is you, then let's start building your plan together. Aging is a complicated journey and no one should venture through it alone. So let's pair you up with a team of experts to help figure out the best plan of action to meet your goals whether they are at Kendall at Home, Maple Knoll Village, or some other alternative. We mentioned the pitfalls of aging at home. Now let's look a little bit deeper at how Kendall at Home addresses those challenges. First, our healthy aging plan. It's a protective wellness plan. So when you come into the program, you come in active, relatively healthy and independent. You develop a relationship with a dedicated care coordinator. She gets to know you, you get to know her. She starts to understand your preferences and your goals. Together you develop a plan for aging in place and that plan evolves as your needs evolve. This court care coordinator is available one call 24 seven and she has an entire care coordination team behind her. 
For additional support, Kendall at Home offers programs online as well as is in your own home. Recently, we started a new program on personal training for falls prevention that is actually in your home. Many more of these programs are available online. The second part of our program is care management. Our care coordination team is there to coordinate all your, all your support and services as you need them. Whether it's the flu, a discharge from a hospital, or further down the line, perhaps dementia, we'll be there to support you along the way. A lot of times we hear our care coordinators um, represented as general contractors because they're there to coordinate everything from the medical care all the way to the non-skilled care. They're there to coordinate all of those services. They arrange in-home care, meal support, professional referrals if you need them, even home, home safety. Now this is different from long-term care insurance because those benefits typically kick in in 90 to 120 days. At Kendall at Home, when you need those services, we're there to put those in place. We're there to advocate for your interest and your, and your preferences. The third part of this program is care coverage. Just like with the care management, you don't have to lift a finger to have this care coordination put into place. With the care coverage, all the bills that come with, the, with that care that, put, that gets put into place come straight to Kendall at Home. So you're not buried under a mountain of bills. We will put together all that information and depending on the plan that you choose, sometimes you won't even receive a bill. To experience the, the real impact of the, of the three components, let's show you a video featuring real members and their stories. Please meet Kendall at Home members Dick and Kathy Dawson. I play music, I'm in a rock band, and also in an adult orchestra. I work out, I love to bike, I have a friend across the street, and we go out to the metro parks. Our community here is really important to us. I like my freedom, I like to do things, I like my community, I want to be involved in it. What stood out for me about Kendall Home as we were planning our future, the thought that we could stay here and customize our home for our needs as we age, have a care coordinator come in and, and help us manage our aging, it just gives me so much peace of mind. As a care coordinator for Kendall at Home, what we do is we develop relationships with our members. What we do with that information is we learn how to take care of them. Not only do they take care of you logistically and for your health, they're there for you emotionally. They also brought in a guy to take a look at our house to see the safety feature, There's what needed to be worked on to make this house as safe as possible for and us. And that was no cost. That, that was, was, that was cool. part of the whole thing. They even cleaned the gutters. I had an accident. I didn't see this two inch elevated piece of sidewalk. I was standing one second, I was down the next. But I said, I just broke both my wrists and my knee. I'm in the emergency room and that is when you looked at me and you said, wait, we have Kendall. We get home and the hospital bed in our family room is already set up because Dick had worked with the care coordinator at Kendall. They had gotten someone in place. There was somebody here waiting for me to take care of me. I really believe that I healed much faster because I was able to be at home after the accident and not in a facility. I can't stress it enough how wonderful it is to be at home and heal. We have three children, so knowing that we have Kendall at home not only gives us peace of mind, it gives them peace of mind. To know that they can check in with Kendall, make sure that we're okay, or if they have a concern, it's just a really good thing. With Kendall at home, you can have your own home, where you can do those things that you love to do in an environment you love to do them in. We want the freedom to choose what we want to do, where we want to do it, and to have our home be the home base for our life and know that we can do that because of Kendall, that's, that's everything to us. Peace of mind is everything. lifetime membership based program is when the people join when they're independent and currently ne not needing care. We call it a lifetime membership program because it remains with you for life. So if you live to be 105 years old and you outlive all of your resources, we are still there with the same service, the same care coordinating component as well as that coverage. 
It's a program that allows us to customize a plan and pricing according to your goals. There is no cookie cutter approach in this program. We will work with you to build a plan around the three pillars based on th the current situation and the vision of your future. So with Kendall at Home's approach to try to keep you active and healthy and independent in the community of your choice, so too we can keep you connected to the University of Cincinnati, however you want to remain connected, whether that's to travel to an away game, to, to see your team take on uh, the rival football team in the championship game, whether it's to come back for homecoming or join an Emeriti event, or even come back to see a favorite students or, or even a granddaughter's graduation from the University of Cincinnati. You can travel all the way through the contiguous United States with free of mind knowing that if something were to happen, you have Kendall at home and we're there to help you no matter where you are. If you're interested in learning more about Kendall at Home, please contact our Cincinnati office. We would also invite you to join us for a discussion about the benefits about Kendall at Home and what they might offer you and your family during your second act. Our weekly seminars will help ensure you're thinking through and addressing all of your needs as you prepare for the future. Now is the time. Emeriti are among those who understand the importance of planning for their future. It's what they've committed their lives and their careers, helping others prepare for a long lifetime of success. Now it's your turn to make sure you have what you need to empower you to continue to thrive wherever you call home. Hi, I'm Megan Ulrich with Maple Knoll Communities. Maple Knoll Communities has been around for 174 years. We operate the continuing care retirement communities, Maple Knoll Village and the Knolls of Oxford, offering independent living, assisted living, and skilled nursing. We have outreach services which provide Meals on Wheels and transportation. We have a Montessori Child Center, a wellness center that is open to the public, a public radio station that has 33,000 listeners worldwide at 89.3 and 89.9 FM, and we do a lot of different outreach into the community through our clinic and our partnerships with the University of Cincinnati and Miami University with our Oxford campus. So there's a lot that we do to provide to seniors in our community. We actually impact over 3,000 seniors in the greater Cincinnati and Oxford areas alone. Since 1985, we've loosely worked with the University of Cincinnati. University of Cincinnati Physicians and College of Medicine have been coming to our campus to provide learning opportunities for students to provide intergenerational relationships um, where our residents can benefit, their students can benefit, and also faculty will get a chance to actually provide hands-on research in a clinical setting. Since then, we've seen the benefit of this partnership just continue to enhance. In 2010, we decided maybe this is something that we really want to move forward with, include other colleges besides just College of Medicine. From there, we began kind of a two-year discussion on how we wanted that to look. In 2012, we were very excited to partner with College of Nursing and open a UC Smart House on the campus of Maple Knoll Village. This place became an innovation hub. We had College of Engineering, College of Net Medicine, College of Nursing, and College of Business, Pharmacy coming out here to see how we could interact with technology, how we could have robotics impact healthcare, how we could help people age at home, um, something that's a big thing with seniors nowadays. And it really took off. We've had over 3,000 students from the University of Cincinnati come out to our campus since 2012. Since then, we've also formed a formal collaboration, which occurred in 2015, between Maple Knoll Village, our continuing care retirement community in Springdale, and the entire University of Cincinnati, which allows us to pursue different research projects, student projects, educational opportunities, intergenerational relationships, and volunteer opportunities for students, faculty, alumni, and emeriti. It's been something that's been incredibly beneficial for both sides. We're excited to share that not only has this been beneficial for people in the Cincinnati area, but we've been able to partner with the University of Cincinnati on publications which have been nationally recognized. We've done studies on how we can impact worker safety, how we can impact um, worker mental well-being, especially during times like COVID, how we can impact technology in seniors' homes. So these are just a few things that we've been tackling here at Maple Knoll Village with the University of Cincinnati. 
I can't stress enough how beneficial it's been to have these intergenerational relationships. Again, not just for our residents, but for faculty, alumni, and emeriti. It's something that could happen from a medical standpoint, from a research standpoint, or simply from a social standpoint, where there's so many volunteer opportunities on campus, and you can really get a lot from volunteering, and I know that our residents get so much as well. Our residents are able to be that resource, that educational piece for people who maybe don't have a lot of exposure to older adults. On our campus here, we are ranging in ages from 62 to 107. That 107-year-old just moved over to assisted living. She was finally ready to make that move. She still is interested in sharing her story and providing feedback. A lot of times what we see is when we have these relationships formed, you don't realize the importance of the older population. Um, we've had a lot of our residents who said, I think we really opened our eyes up to some of these students and faculty. They thought we weren't in interested in technology and I showed them how I did a TikTok video last week. Or they might have showed them how they were around for when the telephone came about. So we don't give these older adults a lot of credit for new things coming into our world, but they've been around for a lot and they've got a lot of great experiences. We also have a lot of residents living on our campus who either went to University of Cincinnati or who taught at University of Cincinnati. They have so many wonderful experiences and ideas that they would love to share, love to continue to give back, and we invite you to please come out and visit our campus. Um, if you would like to visit us online, you can visit us at www.maplenoll.org. You can see information on our partnership with the University of Cincinnati. You can learn about volunteer opportunities, or you can even see a little bit about what we have to offer. If you are Maple Knoll, and then we have others who prefer to stay at home. That's when we bring in partners like Kendall at home. We encourage them to kind of come in and provide those resources that people might want at any place they would like to live. Even if they do that, you can still move to Maple Knoll and bring Kendall at home with you. Or you can choose to stay at home and come to Maple and All for those wonderful uh, social activities, for our wellness center, for events we have going on, or for volunteer opportunities. So there's so many options. We encourage you to give us a call, visit our website, learn a little bit more about how a partnership with Maple Knoll Village, um, Maple Knoll Communities as a whole, or Kendall at Home can really benefit you. When you zoom out a bit, you gain perspective. You realize it's not what you're looking at that matters, it's what you see. At Maple Knoll Village, you'll see a lot. Friends, family, and a home with everything at your fingertips. Then, when you zoom back in, you'll know this is where I'm supposed to be. John Anderson is my name. I've lived at Maple Knoll since 2010. That's about 12 years, going on 12 years. And I've been involved with Maple Knoll since the 80s because my wife's mother was here and both she and my wife and I got involved in volunteer work here and we stayed right on up until now. Um, I've been active with the UC participation with, with Maple Knoll in many projects throughout the years, interviews with new doctors, testing of medical equipment, medical uh, diagnostic equipment and stuff like that, and just in general involved wherever I could be really because I've appreciated the contact with UC. My experience working with students that come to visit us listen to what we have to say about various issues has been a fine experience for me and hopefully for them too. I know each year that we've done that I've gotten more out of it I think than they get out of it because the questions always lead to discussions of perspectives on life. I think that students in general have really been interested in hearing what, it's, what an older person has to say about life in general and about how they look at medical care. Some of that I think is a surprise to them from what I've seen as we talk 
and hopefully I've been able to give them a better picture of what it's like to be an old person. We can give a, an exposure to the, the educational facility that is closer to real life, if you will, uh, than the academic environment. In real life, people don't always behave the way they should or the way they're expected to. And it's well to know that before you get involved with real life. I've enjoyed volunteering almost all my life, and especially here at Maple Knoll. My wife and I got involved volunteering here back in the 80s, and I have been doing that ever since in, in many different ways. My biggest capacity is as a friendly visitor, visiting people older than I, or perhaps more incapacitated than I, to give them a better sense of life, of good feeling about themselves, and that sort of thing, and keeping them active in, in the community, really. Uh, I've always enjoyed working here at Maple Knoll. The staff, is, they go out of their way to make, make it a comfortable thing for us, and for, for volunteers, certainly as much as for the residents. Um, it's good exposure and good feelings. I, I, every time I'm doing something like this, I say, I get much more out of volunteer work than I put into it. It enhances my life, enriches my life. Well, thank you to everyone for participating and to Maple Knoll Village for hosting us. Viewers may contact us for follow-up questions. And finally, best wishes to all UC Emeriti throughout your retirement. Go you see, Bearcats triumph.